Okay, I've been out of uh, circulation here for a few weeks, but I'm back doing some videos on Windows 10. And one of my favorite subjects we're going to talk about is Windows 10 gaming. Now, this isn't about running them. It's about getting your save games moved over from your old system to your new system. Now, if you have a fresh install of Windows, you won't have any of your save games. So let's talk about Max Payne 1. So here I am launching it as an initial application freshly installed on a different system. And when that happens, you have no resume game, you have nothing in your save games there at all that you can use for Max Payne. You have to figure out how to move your save games over. So let's take a look. So with a fresh install of Windows 10 and a fresh install of Max Payne and no saves, you'll have to have access to your old ones. Now you look on the left, and that's I'm actually hooked into my old system with Max Payne on it. So I'll move down here and find my save game directory in the My User and then your username and then the documents directory, and then you'll see your save games listed. So if we go over here on the left and I find the Max Payne saves, drag them over here to the new system and go there, and we should be good to go. So let's take a look. I'm back in Max Payne, uh, and you'll see here that, uh, again, still no resume game because that's not saved. However, if you go down here to where it says load game, sure enough, there's all your load games you had. So there's Max Payne 1. Let's go on now and we'll move on to Max Payne 2. So just like Max Payne 1, we're going to go ahead and launch Max Payne 2 with no saves, just to take a look. So we go over here and we launch Max Payne 2. And we see, uh, once we get in here, we see that there's still no resume game. We go to here to load. It's all empty. There are no save games available. Now, just like uh, that, we go back to the file menu, we go to the old system or wherever you copied your old saves at, and you drag them over here to your documents directory there, and you see Max Payne save two uh, files are all there. So here I am back in Max Payne 2 after I've copied the saves, and we let it come up. And sure enough, no resume game there, nothing there. But if we go to load, there's the save games that I've moved over. All uh, the files that were there are now available for me in Max Payne 2. So restoring the saves in Max Payne 3 is a little different than Max Payne 1 and 2. But you notice that we're showing the uh, uh, content here. There is no content, there's no chapter select. And by the way, Max Payne 3 shows the cutscenes on your current chapter, so it's starting at the beginning here. So they changed the way they save games here. Now if you look on this side here, there is no Max Payne Save Game 3 here, but if you go down here to where you'll see the directory called Rockstar Games, and we'll come down here and open it up, and you'll see that all the Rockstar Games are together, including Max Payne 3. If you copy the entire Max Payne 3 directory over, you're going to cause a problem. You only can do portions of it. So we go over here to Profiles and find the profile. Now, you'll notice that on the right, it created a directory structure or directory ID the same as what I did when I ran the game. If you haven't run the game yet, you'll have nothing there. Uh, no Rockstar's directory, nothing. But anyways, uh, the idea here is to drag those over and drop them over on top of those games there. That way you overwrite these files that are in there. You can overwrite all of those just fine. Uh, that's no problem. You just can't find through the entire Rockstar directory. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's drag it over there. Drop it in over there. I get the warning from Windows. Yep, I want to replace all of it. Boom. Done. But you're not done. Because you have to go back up in your directory structure, back up to Rockstar Games, and go into Social Club and Profiles. And there's the same profile number. And you look in here, and there's the files associated with that profile. So we're going to go back again to the Social Club directory where we see that file. And go back here on the left and go back to there it is social club profiles i had some old profiles here as well but we're going to drag that one over you should only have one normally and say replace and boom there it's replaced so we're ready to fire up max Payne 3. so here we are in max Payne 3. so if we go here now back again to the story mode and we take a look at story and you see that there is now a chapter select available if we go down there and uh, you'll see that all the chapters that I have completed in Max Payne 3 are there, just like before. 
because uh, that's how Max Payne uh, 3 does say by chapter. So there you are, how to uh, do it uh, for Max Payne 3. So whether you're a Max Payne 1, 2, or 3 aficionado or all 3 like me, uh, you can get all your save games from your old system very easily. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.